Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Barry Tone. In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing you guys basically the top three methods for making your RPCS3 emulator crashing so much. But before we get started this video, please make sure guys you like, share, and also subscribe if you guys are new to the channel because it helps out the channel out a lot. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Now, when you're working with the RPCS3 emulator, it's basically, as I'm recording this video, one of the most powerful emulators that that are out, that's out. So when you're playing certain games, it's going to crash. And that's just the pure reality of it because um, the RPCS3 emulation team is not at the point that they can get every game running from A through Z, from point A to point Z at a playable manner. It's just gonna take some years and that's how it is. But there's ways that you can stop it from crashing so much. One of the first methods that I always use is using the graphics card. Nvidia control panel, which most people, if you're playing on the RPCS3 emulator, you're gonna need, you're gonna you're going to be using, using your AMD or your Nvidia um, graphics card. That is the pure reality of it. So as you go to adjust image settings with preview, when you use, when you go to use my performance and uh, enhancing, you're going to use, you're going to um, gear towards more of, you're going to gear towards more performance over quality, or even make it balance because you're trying to make make the game work run pretty well while you're playing it. So performance will be your first preference. Now after that you just play um, press apply, and then you go to set configuration. Obviously, use your graphics card or whatever graphics card you have, and then you go into manage 3D um, settings. And then when you're here, it's always important to pick the tab that you wanted in. Use your high performance in the video processor. Now, by default, the settings I have is good. It should work for 80% of you guys, but if, if it doesn't work or you even want to scale it up a little bit, mess around these settings. Like I said, everybody in the video settings is um, basically different to the fact that some people prefer um, certain settings over others. So you got to test out certain some of these settings and see how it works pretty well with your graphics card or your PC because everybody's PC is um, pretty different from each other. It's not like a console or we have the same, um, um, basically the same graphical powers power with each other. So it's pretty different when it comes to the, the PC side. So do keep in mind, mess with uh, certain settings and see how well it works with yours compared to mine. So that's the most important thing. Go to program settings. And, uh, High performance Nvidia processor. You can also use um, use global settings, but in this case, I'll say use high Nvidia um, performance processor. Like I said, um, the other one may work pretty well for you, but in this case, from making the emulator stop crashing, a high performance Nvidia processor processor is the way to go, in my opinion. Like I said, the default settings are good. If you guys want to mess around it so be it some settings may be way perfect for you compared to me like i said pc is way different from console you're gonna go to add after you're done with that and for rpcs3 add to select the program you apply it and then you exit out and then we will go back to the rpcs3 emulator the second way is going to the configuration tab. Now, the most common mistake that people make and when they mess around with the RPCS3 emulator and that makes their emulator crash is when they're messing with the CPU, GPU tab, and also the audio settings. You gotta, when you're playing a certain game, there's certain um, audio settings that you guys need I mean, there's certain settings 
the game is at a playable state or even you can even get in game too. So like many games like Metal Gear Solid, The Last of Us, certain games in the Uncharted series, especially the, the last two, they're really, they're really demanding. It's going to use a lot of RAM, it's going to use a lot of your CPU, your GPU, because how powerful those games are and as I'm recording this video, they're not at the stage that you can basically mess around, put any settings towards it. So in most cases, you guys have to look up um, the game on the compatibility tab on the RPCS emulator and look up the game you want to play and see what what's basically the best settings for those games. So most games may run under fast, um, mostly the fast C CPU decoder or the may work on on uh, precise under the PPU decoder or additional settings you may need to disable some of these it's all it's very game dependent when it's with the CPU but do default you want to leave it in default settings I say 60% of the games will be at a playable state if they're at the stage that you can get it in game mostly the default settings are good but very graphical powerful games like Metal Gear Solid Last of Us, some games in the Uncharted series, um, even certain games in the Rapture the Clank um, series, <laughs> they're pretty uh, demanding. So do keep in mind with that. They need certain settings to be at a playable stage, or even you getting in game. And the CPU tab, um, on the GPU tab, obviously make sure you're on Vulcan. Never, I I don't recommend OpenGL at all because you got you're going to be using your your graphics card if you want to play very powerful games and when you're playing very powerful games a lot crashing is normal but if you want to reduce the crashing capabilities got to use your graphics card put on Vulcan use your Nvidia or your AMD use any, anything just use your graphics card <laughs> don't be using OpenGL and also you can mess around the frame limits like say for example you want to if you feel like the frame limits are crashing the game. You can leave it up to 30 instead of leaving it on to the default audio settings. I mean, default um, auto. Uh, <laughs> I can't speak today. Audio frame limit. And then resolution scale scaling. Uh, I think most people that try to play games at full speed, that's at a perfect stage. The reason why it crashes also even if when you check on the RPC S3 emulator tab and say, oh, perfect from start to finish and it's crashing is because you're basically trying to play the game at 4K, which is 4K is 400%, 6K is 600% and 8K is 800%. It's pretty, pretty percent base. And then you reset it if you are having problems when you're trying to play games at 4K, but it's crashing because either um, your graphics card that you have currently is that you can't play at 4k yet or even if you have the most powerful graphics card is that the game is not playable at that 4k fully playable at that 4k stage it's only playable from the default um standpoint so you guys got to keep in mind with that so after that you apply it and then you save it and also the third method which is in my opinion the most important method to it's going to the RPC S3 emulator compatibility tab and checking what are the best settings to play most games that are on it. And usually when you're looking up on a compatibility tab, it actually tell you what stage the game what best settings it is to play the game. Like say for example, 50 Cent Blood on Sand. This is basically a little wiki about it. And then you're gonna click on the date of the game. And they have their own um, GitHub page wiki when people in the community explaining uh, what things that work with the g game you can leave a comment and see what performance issues you have 
and sometimes they usually tell you what settings these games are best to be played at and then you can look in your RPC SPM emulator and you can set it in those settings and the game you basically get a better experience playing it on those settings it may work for you depending it's always it's always graphic it's always your graphics card dependent if you have the latest graphics card it may work fine if you have something that's a little bit older the best settings for a certain video graphics card may not work for yours so like i said it's always good to mess around with the settings and you can give your emphasis onto the github page and tell people what certain settings works so that's basically about it those are basically the top three ways to stop your rpc s3 emulator from crashing so much so yeah if you guys enjoyed this video or find this video any helpful at all feel free to like share and also subscribe if you guys are new to the channel because i'm making more videos like this in the near future yeah guys this is boy braid song see you guys in the next video peace out